Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sabidia Truder, welcome to Slay the Spire, a game about getting to the top of a spire, primarily by slaying things, and a game I've been meaning to look at on the channel for quite some time, and very conveniently it just came out on Switch, so I thought, you know what, good opportunity, let's actually finally give this one a bit of a loopsy, and... Uh, I'm going to say ahead of time, it's one of those games where I sit down with it for five minutes before I record just to make sure I actually understand the basics, and then I accidentally play it for a couple of hours. Yeah, this one's really, really damn good. I like this. That does not to say I'm actually very good at it. I've done precisely one run, thought I was a pretty big badass because I made it to the top of what I assumed was the spire, then the game just moved me over to a tougher spire that immediately destroyed me. So, to people who know this game and love this game and have put many hours into it, I'm sorry in advance. And the game begins, as all great games do, with a terrifying undead nightmare whale who's basically a bit of a sarcastic bastard towards you. So yes, I know, I died last time. It's fine, terrifying undead whale. Still, he's willing to help me out on this occasion. So, enemies in your next three combats have just one health. Always going to give me max health plus eight, which will be 10% up. That's my health up in the top left there, 80 out of 80. So yeah, as the first few fights are going to be pretty easy anyway, I will take the max health up, so now I have 88 maximum health. Beautiful. Thank you, Undead Whale. And now I have to work my way up the spire to the top, taking whatever path I want. So I think I'll start... Yeah, I'll start on the right over here, because then there's a bunch of enemies to fight. So I want to fight a few enemies early on just to get myself some nice cards, experience, diddly diddly d. So, this is basically a card game, where at the beginning of the game you have a very, very basic deck indeed. So some cards just do a bit of damage, some cards give you some block instead, where you just block incoming damage. And the whole game is turn-based and controlled by action points, so I've got three action points down in the bottom left there. The cards I'm drawing out of my deck, meanwhile, have a cost of action points up in the top left. So if I just want to do a basic attack, six damage for one action point, so I could do that a few times. However, after I'm done, the enemy get their turn. You can see exactly what the enemy are going to do to you. So this guy is going to attack me for five damage. This guy is going to do something to himself to make him better. And after a certain period of time, they're actually going to curl up and gain some bonus defense themselves after they take a certain amount of damage based on the number next to the blue ball underneath them. So, all right then, what I'll do as I've got five damage incoming is use a defend because every block is basically minus one damage. So now I will take literally no damage this turn. As a result of that, I can start just wailing on these guys. So I did enough damage to him that his curl up just activated and now he's picked up a bit of bonus shielding. But that's fine, if we just strike him again, we'll actually get through that. That has now gone away, I've used up all my action points, end of my turn, beautiful. So that guy attacks me, but will now do nothing to me whatsoever. And this guy uses Grow to basically make him stronger than he was otherwise. Marvelous. And at this point, yeah, what have we got coming in? We've got a fair bit of damage coming in, so I'm going to use... Uh, don't want to bother with double defend. Yeah, why not? I'll actually use a double defend, and then we'll actually start getting you down as well. Though, actually, I could have actually just finished off that first one. Maybe that would have been the better play, but it's fine. Because I am the Ironclad, meaning I have a special ability, which is... At the end of every single fight, I get myself a tiny bit of health back. There it is, burning blood. Every combat heals six hit points. So, as long as I don't take too much damage, it's not really a big deal. So what I'm going to do now is, yeah, just finish off that one. He is now dead, and now it's just me versus this guy one-on-one. -on -one. And he's actually planning to attack me this turn. So yeah, I've got a bit of an unlucky draw here, because now all I can do is defend, and I don't have anything to defend against. Because block doesn't last beyond the end of each round, it'll just fade unless there are special rules saying otherwise. So my Block's about to go away without doing anything. He's about to make himself even stronger, but that's fine. If I'm lucky, I should be able to just, yeah, finish him off right now with a double strike. Beautiful, nice and simple. So as a result of that, I get myself some gold and I pick up a potion too. So I can carry three of these and I can use them without expending action points. So 10 damage to all enemies. That's pretty good as an emergency thing I might want to throw out. But more importantly, obviously, this is a deck building game. So now I can pick a card out of a random selection to add into my hand. And actually, there's some fun stuff in here. So eight block, and also I get to draw a card for only one action point. That's not bad at all. Dual wield, not seen this one before. Choose an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Ah, so basically I can just double things up if I want to. But if I have to expend an action point to do that, I'm not convinced that's a great idea, to be honest. Sword Boomerang, three damage to three random enemies. So yeah, nine damage total, but I don't know where it's going to go if there's more than one enemy type. 
You know what? I'll take Shrug it off. That seems like a good bit of defense right there. And now I get a choice of where I want to go next. There's a merchant I can buy things from or more enemies. I don't have much money yet. That's the thing with, yeah, 113 written next to it at the top. So I'll leave the merchant for now. Instead, I'll just keep on fighting. Here we go. So obviously, as you go up further, more and more bad things are going to start showing up. But your hand's going to get more and more interesting at the same time. So he's planning to attack me for 11 damage. So if I actually just shrug it off, I get to pick up 8 block immediately and also draw a card to add into my hand. Beautiful. So at this point, I'll probably, yeah, just increase my block so I take 0 damage and then just get a tiny bit of damage on him. Just start wearing him down nice and slow. So he'll come in, he can't do anything to me, so my block goes down to 2 and then the remaining 2 will just fade because they've got nothing to do there. At this point, he's planning 2, what are you doing? Block and also use a buff. So you know what, I'll just attack you for a bit because you're not planning to attack me. Just get in 3 strikes in a row and start weakening him a little bit. So he's about to pick up a block and I'm not sure if the enemy block is allowed to actually stay there beyond the edge of the turn I'm not sure he's coming in for another 14 on me so you know what I'll just go for one defend do a bit of damage and then do a bit more damage to him so he's gonna do a bit of damage to me but because of my little blood ability I'll be able to heal most of that off at the end of this next turn anyway so I'm not too worried and at this point yes he's about to go down though yeah I do have my other ability here this is actually a starting card Bash! 8 damage and also 2 vulnerable. So if I use that on him, it's a bit more expensive in terms of energy points. But now he's vulnerable, he takes 50% more damage for 2 turns. So a good thing to use early on if you can. So that strike doesn't actually do 6. It does 9 instead. Beautiful. Down you go. And you have a bit of gold and once again add more cards in. So disarm. Enemy loses 2 strength or pommel strike. Deal 9 damage. Draw a card. That's not bad. I'm not sure, yeah, two strength is that great. And flex, I just don't like. So, yeah, pommel strike, nine in the card. I'll take that, thank you. And, yeah, just keep going at this point, further and further up. And there's multiple merchants floating around here. So, I'll decide when I need to bother visiting a merchant. And, hello! <laughs> I like this enemy, because I'm not sure if they're supposed to be scary, but I find them absolutely hilarious. So, that's just a cultist who's just waving a scythe about. They're planning to actually buff themselves. They don't actually have much going on right now, so uh, screw it. Throw everything we've got to them that's pretty powerful. Just go for a pommel strike for nine and also draw a card. Sadly, didn't draw anything good. May as well just go all on the attack because he's not planning to attack me. So he's already, yeah, basically half dead. Good start right there. What are you planning to do to yourself, by the way? You're giving yourself feathers. What does feathers mean? So at the end of this turn, gain three strength. Ah! So you're going to start getting stronger soon, I see. But that's fine. I'll just give you a quick bash right now to make you more vulnerable. And now 9 damage rather than 6. He is planning to attack me, but... You know what? I'll block some of that at least. That's absolutely fine. His vulnerable is going to last another turn, by the way. So yeah, I will be able to do a bit more to him next time. Here we go. He's now getting stronger and doing 9 damage. But that's fine because I can just shrug it off. Though then again, no, I can't quite kill him this turn. I could come close. I could do 18 damage total. Not enough. So I'll do my block together with draw a card. I didn't draw anything exciting. So just keep basically wailing on him. No problem whatsoever. End my little turn there. He'll go for me, but yeah, at this point, he is very, very doomed indeed. We'll finish him off, and actually, I'm going to make a net gain in health in this fight because of the actual blood power at the end of it. So, goodbye, you stupid loser. That was a nice, easy one right there. 13 gold, and what do we want here? Anger. Deal 6 damage and add a copy of this card into your discard pile. Ah, okay. So anger starts multiplying, does it? Hang on, I need to double check how that works at some point. Thunderclap, four damage and applies one vulnerable to all enemies. Okay, so if there's multiple enemies on the field, it's weak, but it could be useful. It's not great though. You know what, I'll try anger out. I'm not sure whether that's good or not, but I'll give it a go. And I'll skip that merchant, because there's another merchant right there. So I'll actually give this guy a fight. Then we'll go and have a chat to the merchant. So we've got ourselves, yes, dead spore rat things. Whatever this is. Yeah, mushroom that lives inside a rat or something. So when it dies, it applies two vulnerable. So if you can, finish them off together. Gotcha. One of them's buffing, one doing six damage to me. So if I just do, yeah, one shrug off, may as well do that rather than defend. It is just better than a defender. That just gives me, yeah, more strikes. So that wasn't that useful to be honest, but screw it. Let's actually do the damage on this guy as far as we can. And then just keep attacking, please. Yeah, there we go. 
as this guy's about to be stronger, we may as well actually see if we can finish him off faster. Because I don't know what he's about to do to himself, but he's going to do something. Yeah, he's now on strength plus three. So I'd rather he be dead sooner rather than later. Because now he's doing, yeah, nine damage rather than six. So deal six damage. And you know what? It's a freebie. Kind of may as well. So yeah, as a result of that, there's now double anger in the discard pile. Yeah, so anger starts multiplying. Eventually, you've got nothing but anger. But that's good, isn't it? Because it's free. Okay, but then I suppose eventually it's going to start clogging up your hand, so uh, that would be less good, therefore. Still, I can finish off this guy, but bear in mind he's going to actually do too vulnerable to me as a result of that, so uh, yeah, there's too vulnerable to me. I'll do a defend right there and don't want to bother doing another defend. I don't think I need to, to be honest. I think I'll be fine. My hot-blooded will deal with that in a moment. So, uh, he's going to come at me, do a tiny bit of damage, but it's really not much at all. So far, I'm healing it off completely. What else have we got, by the way? And we've just got a giant pile of defense. Well, that's completely cocking useless when he's buffing, but whatever. Still, hopefully with all the defense out the way, I should now get a bunch of offensive cards. And yes, anger is now basically starting to show up a lot. But I'm kind of liking anger showing up a lot. Basically, anger is just huge amounts of free damage. So I'm sure that'll screw me over later, but maybe just one anger. One anger's good enough. Rupture. Whenever you lose hit points from a card, gain plus one strength. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Except, hang on, when you say lose hit points from a card, do you mean my cards or any cards? I'm not sure. Alternatively, Warcry freebie. So draw a card, put a card from your hand on the top of your draw pile, exhaust. Right, so basically I can set up a card I want to show up next time. Not great, because I don't know what it'll show up with. So, okay, I'll go for this Rupture ability. Yeah, potentially getting a bit of health, and I can go up this way, or... Merchant. You know what? Merchants do let you pick up a bunch of cards. That's not too bad at all, really. Hello there, Mr. Merchant. So we'll have a nice chat with you. So yeah, they've normally got a good selection here. And some of them are going to be very, very cheap indeed. Barricade. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. Interesting. Feed. Deal 10 damage if this kills a non-minion enemy. Raise your max hit points by 3. I assume non-minion means elite, the guys who are tougher, who are marked on the map with little horns, so... Uh, okay, plus three max hit points, that's not bad at all. Blood for blood. Starts off costing four energy, so I physically can't use that, but... Costs one less energy for each time you lose hit points during this combat. Deals, wow, 18 damage. Okay, that's, that's interesting, because as time goes by, it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. That's... That's interesting right there. Okay, it only costs 77, so I could buy that and something else. That's a nice thing here. I'm not just picking one. I can buy as much as I can afford. So, shrug it off we already know about. Flame Barrier. Gain 12 block. Whenever you're attacked this turn, deal 4 damage back. That's kind of nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Other one I can afford down here. Discovery. Choose one of three random cards to add into your hand. It costs 0 this turn. Oh, now that's interesting, because if I could actually get blood for blood using Discovery, ooh, that's very good. Alternatively, yeah, you can buy potions up at the top there. So, apply six poison, another explosive potion. Gambler's Brew, discard any number of cards, then draw that many. Or if I want to, I can take cards out of my deck if I want to clear out some of the basic ones. And up here at the top, yeah, we've got Relics. These guys are super expensive, but like my Blood ability, they're permanent modifiers that are very, very good indeed. So whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Okay, that's nice. I make a card more powerful the moment I add it. That'd be lovely, but I can't afford it. Whenever you lose hit points, gain three block next turn. That's lovely too. Whenever you play a power and attack and a skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. Bit situation, I'd probably rather leave that one be. Can't afford it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but you know. You know what? I'll take Flame Barrier because Flame Barrier is pretty darn good. And then I wouldn't really mind Blood for Blood. That seems pretty badass, actually. But then Discovery seems good as well. That does seem kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to take Blood for Blood. It seems kind of hilarious. So we'll start with that, and that's all my money spent. Lovely. And now we move on to the campfire. Here we go. So, the campfire, you can restore 30% of your health, but I'm in good shape right now, so I'm going to the smith instead, where I can take a card and make it better. So a basic strike goes up from 6 to 9. A block goes up from 5 to 8. But yeah, sometimes some of these cards get really good. So Pommel Strike is up to 10 and also draw 2, which is kind of interesting. What else do I like, by the way? Yeah, that new Flame Barrier, that's 
Okay, 16 block and also 6 damage back. So if I was being attacked by mass enemies, that'd be really cool. Upgraded Bash is 10 and 3 vulnerable. That's kind of nice. Actually, what does Anger do? That is 8 damage and then adds a copy. And presumably the copy is also Anger Plus. I kind of like Anger Plus, actually. Ooh, Blood for Blood goes down to 3 and then becomes 22 damage. That's really nice. You know, I'm going to actually upgrade Anger. I kind of like Anger. Anger's pretty good, so we'll actually make Anger better. So now I get even angrier. Ah, but this leads me into an elite enemy of some description. So I'm probably going to regret coming this path. And it's, oh, it's adorable, whatever it is. So it's got 110 hit points and it's also asleep right now. At the end of its turn, it's going to pick up 8 block. Ah, does it always pick up 8 block? Is that just what it does? Maybe that's just what it does. Okay, let's actually, as it's not doing anything right now, give it a bash. Put a bit of a vulnerable on it. So, there we go. We've got through its shield right now. And may as well just pommel strike it, really. Draws a card, but doesn't do much. Right, it's woken up at this point. So, how are you feeling right now? It is currently stunned, and it's vulnerable too. So, this is the point where, yeah, I'm going to want to start hitting it like crazy. So, uh, this thing is not planning to attack me right now. But presumably, next turn it's going to wake up a bit. Yeah, now it's doing 18 damage a go to me, which is not great. But I can start angering it. So let's hit it with an anger right away. So anger for... That's not bad. 12, and that's actually starting to double up. So unfortunately, yeah, I've only got one defend available to me right now. So I will use that because I can't use blood for blood anyway. Hit it with a strike. So this thing is going to start doing, uh, yeah, some bad damage to me. Bosses can really flip and hurt ya. And sadly, I would have liked to have put a second defend on myself there, but I cannot. His vulnerable is now worn off right here. He's about to attack me for about to lose hit points from a card. Uh, gain plus one strength. I'm not sure whether that counts for him. So, uh, okay, again, he's attacking me and I've only got one defend available to me. This is, this is a bad selection here, unfortunately. That's just really bad luck. I'm about to take some more damage. I'm just going to go for, you know, I'll give it a go. I'm going to give Rupture a try to see if, yeah, when he attacks me, that means I get a plus one strength. So we'll see what happens here. So in he comes. And does Rupture actually trigger at this point? It does not. Fine. That's not how Rupture works. So at this point, he stopped attacking me for now. Instead, he's about to do something that's a very powerful negative effect on me. So I can't block that. There's no point blocking. But Blood for Blood has just shown up for only two. So, you know what? I'll give that a go. Get a good bit of damage on him. Just keep attacking him too, because yeah, I can't block this. Whatever it is, I cannot block it. So, uh, he's down to under half health. I'm taking some damage, but what's he about to do to me? And he's just giving me dexterity minus one, strength minus one. So, I'm now doing less damage, and my defense is less effective. All right, I see the problem here. But, on the plus side, anger is starting to show up and multiply. So, uh, Actually, I'm really rather liking the anger. The anger's working pretty well for me. That was all done without a single action point being spent. I've still got my three action points here. Okay, he's got 32. I could make him vulnerable immediately. In fact, actually, I should have done that first, then thrown out the angers once he was vulnerable. So, mistake on my part there. The problem is, I don't have any defense at all. Okay, I need to go for Pommel Strike, because if I'm lucky, I'll draw a defensive card. So I'm about to take a ton of flipping damage here, so... But then again... Ooh, if I do Pommel Strike, whatever it is, yeah, I can't use Bash, because... Or I could use Bash, but then... Okay, go for Pommel Strike, and... Okay, we did get one defend. I'm going to take a defend right there, and one strike too. Hopefully, we can finish him off next round. So he's going to come at me right now with a quite powerful attack... Yeah, elites are not fun. He's coming at me with another 18 right now. I can give myself 11 block, which is not bad. And unfortunately, I physically cannot defeat him this turn because I can only do 10 damage. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, in which case, best thing to do is throw up a ridiculous mega block here. He's coming in for 18. I can actually block... Yeah, I can block 11 of that right now. Screw it. Go for an attack. Make sure we can finish him off next turn. So he's coming in for the big attack. He's going to take four back from that. There we go. Now we've got to be able to finish him. So here we go. Now all the angers bloody show up. And 
Blood for Bloods here. Yeah, you would have been nice last turn, actually, but whatever. So we'll just finish you off like that. Blood for Blood, you are dead. Yeah, that becomes free eventually. That's really good. Still, I've picked up something special because you were an elite. So whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. Okay, that's pretty good actually, so we'll take that, that's a special relic. Dexterity potion, so yeah, better when I'm actually trying to spam shields, lovely. And another card as well. Double tap, this turn your next attack is played twice. That's actually pretty good right there, because you know what, I kind of want more anger in my deck. Anger's actually really, really damn good. Or Whirlwind, deal 5 damage to all enemies X times where X is the number of remaining action points you've got available. 5 is not spectacular, but against a large number of weak enemies, that'd be good. But I think I'd rather take double tap, actually. Yeah, being able to actually play my next attack twice is not bad. But then again, is it? Is it that good? Because I'm using an action point to make that happen. I'm just going to put more anger in my deck. I'm enjoying having anger in my deck, damn it. And yeah, at this point, I kind of feel like I need a rest. So, ooh, and that's a treasure room too. Yeah, I'm going to have a rest right here. So on this occasion, I will rest for 30% of my health back. So now I'm looking much better. Can't visit the smith. And I get a treasure room. So crack open a bit of gold and a paper frog. So enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50 Okay, that's pretty nice. So now I'm much better at dealing with vulnerable enemies. Back to a normal enemy right over here. So, what are you going to be at this point? It's a room full of... Oh, guys, you look so sad. Do you guys, like, not want to fight or something? That's a gremlin wizard, shield gremlin, sneaky gremlin, and a fat gremlin. Okay, they all look really sad. I'm not actually sure. And also, ooh... I don't know what you're planning to do. Well, that's just bloody sneaky of ya. Okay, so right now I'm in line to take 13 damage and maybe more, because I don't know what all of them are actually doing right now. So, I may as well get a pommel strike in, because, yeah, this guy who's doing 9 damage, I'm going to finish you off probably. So, what did I just draw, by the way? I just drew a defend. I was hoping for something a bit better. You know what? I'll just go for an anger against you. So that's normal anger, which will split into two right there. So the biggest, most dangerous one is now down out of the way. Do I want to start actually weakening them or would I rather go for? You know what? I'll block that four because I don't know what that guy at the front's about to do. So I'm definitely blocking the four at least. And he's charging something. Ah, he charged up a defensive spell. And I didn't take any damage, but I have been slightly weakened. Still, I've got Anger Plus available right now, and Bash is now much better than it used to be, which is pretty good. So actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a Bash against the tough guy right now. So he is now vulnerable, and now I can Anger for 10. And there we go. That's very, very nice indeed. So he's now looking a bit on the weak side. I can't defend, though, so I guess I'll just keep going for this guy. He's now going from, yeah, from 4 up to 7 because he's vulnerable. So we can finish you off next turn because you're planning something special at some point. He's still charging. Here it comes! Right, he needs to die next turn before he actually, you know, does a bunch of damage to me because he's about to do something really nasty. There it is! 25 damage is what he's planning to do, and... Uh, Unfortunately, I've drawn, like, nothing I can use to attack him with. Marvellous. Because he's actually got uh, 7 block as well as 8 hit points. So that's a bit on the unfortunate side. I can put up my flame barrier, though, and thus do a bunch of good quality defence to this guy. So I can see off some stuff, sure. You know what? Let's just play full-on defensive. If I actually go for Shrug It Off 2, then yeah, that's actually up to 20 defence right there. So we'll shrug it off as well. There we go. So I'm up to 20 and anyone who attacks me takes some damage back. So in he comes, takes a little bit of damage, but then yeah, he takes damage too. He comes for me, it takes a bit of damage back. So I didn't take much damage there. That was probably for the better. And there we go. I've just shuffled my deck. We're back round to the beginning. Now I feel like this guy's charging up for a while, so I don't need to worry about him just yet. Instead, I would rather, yeah, make sure I finish off that guy at the back because they're actually doing damage to me immediately. So I'll actually just finish you off now. You are now dead. That's the end of this turn. I'm guessing you're going to spend a bit of time charging. Yes, he's charging up and you're just protecting. So you're garbage. I'm just going to leave you be because you literally don't seem to ever do anything. So uh, next up, I'll go for a pommel strike just to see if I actually draw something that gives me... Oh, I've got so much anger. So much anger. 
so much anger in my system right now. Screw you, this isn't using up anything at all. So there you go, now you're all dead. Right, that wasn't so bad at all. Blood Potion, heal for 10% of your maximum hit points. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Um, what else do I want, by the way? Reckless Charge, deals 7 damage but shuffle a dazed in. No, 7's not much, but then again it is a freebie. No, I'll leave that be. Dropkick, deals 5 damage if the enemy has vulnerable, gain energy and draw 1 card. Yeah, because I'm good with vulnerable right now because I've got that paper frog, so... I'll take a drop kick. That seems pretty darn good. I'm liking that. Now, I can go and heal up over the fire, or improve a card, or engage in a standard fight, and then a random event. What does this look like over here? Because what I'd rather go over onto the other track. There's no elites on the other track. If I stay on the left, there's no more elites between me and the actual final boss, whatever that's going to be. Do I need to heal up right now? Because I could also go and improve a card. Like, I could go and improve that other anger into another good anger, which would be kind of tempting, actually, yes. But then again, if I go and fight that elite, that elite would actually be worth another relic to me, presumably. I think elites always generate relics or something. They seem to, anyway. Hmm. What do I want to do here? You know what? I'm going to go and head to the smithy. We're going to smith up another card here. You know, I am tempted to get my other anger up to anger plus two. That's kind of fun, actually. Just basically, uh, yeah, have more and more flipping anger circling during the fight. That does seem like it works. That genuinely does. I have been enjoying Flame Barrier. Flame Barrier is not bad at all. Flame Barrier is pretty decent. And Shrug It Off gives me only one card. I gain 11 block and only one card. Uh, so yeah, I think Pommel Strike's better there, because that's actually 10 damage and 2, so I'd definitely rather upgrade Pommel Strike than Shrug it off. Bash does tempt me, by the way, though then again, I'd like another Bash card. If I could get another Bash, that'd be great, because I need to actually put more Vulnerable on enemies, because, uh, yeah, I'm now good with Vulnerable. And Dropkick Plus doesn't seem that good, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm just going to have two Anger Pluses inside my hand. I feel like Anger Plus is actually pretty fun. Because 8 damage is not nothing. It starts stacking up pretty fast. Now, which way do I want to go? Do I want to take on three enemies in a row, then a campfire? Or a random, an enemy, an elite, then a campfire? I think I'm going to go the way that avoids the elite. I've got three relics right now. I'm pretty happy with that. So, oh, this is baby's first fight right here. This should be no problem at all. I say that, mind. They have actually all got the knives out for me, quite literally. And I've got literally only one defense. So, uh, yeah, under the circumstances, uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Explosive potion. Ten damage to everybody. Yes, actually. That, uh, that kind of works pretty nicely. Yeah, you know what, guys? Throw the explosive potion at all of them. So I believe at this point... Ah! Their thing hasn't triggered. For some reason, yeah, their curl up hasn't actually triggered because potions don't trigger it. Which means actually... Oh, guys, you poor bastards. I now get to finish you off nice and fast. Be flipping beautiful. Right. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm gaining health as a result of that. Right, I'm glad I remembered I had a potion right there. What have we got here? Ooh, Sever Soul. That seems a bit on the extreme side. Exhaust all non-attacking cards in your hand for 16. I mean, it's not bad in some ways. And hang on, I've got a special ability when I exhaust cards. So that's actually not terrible either. Um, Armaments, gain 5 block. Upgraded card in your hand for the rest of combat. Ooh. I tell you what, 5 block for 1 action point isn't that terrible anyway. Yeah, you know what, I'll take that. That's alright, because then I can actually improve a card too. And, uh, yes, I need to actually remind myself what my actual bloody things are. Yes, three damage to all enemies when I exhaust. So remember, exhausting is kind of good for me in some ways. I say that, do I actually have any cards that exhaust? I've not got a single card that exhausts. Right, so, I'm not well set up for that relic. Right, I'm going to take the random event. Because the random event can give you good stuff. So, uh, you come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol. Okay, I'm going to take some damage... But, I don't know what this thing does, but okay, hopefully it's good. And as you grab the idol, things are starting to happen that are bad. So, what's actually going on here? Giant boulder! Oh, that old classic right there. So, become cursed with an injury. So, I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing that just means, yeah, take a bit of damage as time goes by. Take 22 damage flat. 
lose seven max hit points. No, never give up max hit points. I will smash the boulder with my mighty, mighty fist and just take a bit of damage. And what does this actually do? Enemies drop 25% more gold. Ooh, that wasn't really worth it, to be honest, because I might be about to be absolutely trashed by this guy. Um, you know what? Just for safety, should I actually use... Uh, yeah, I'll take 10% healing. Go on then, and... Oh, no, hang on. Can I not drink it during... Oh, I think I need to drink it during combat. Fine, I'll drink that during combat. So, in we go. Come on, give me something manageable, and it is... Ah! It's a giant pile of flimsy enemies. Sadly, I don't have my explosive potion anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so they're all coming at me with the knives out. I can finish off... How many can I finish off in one go? I think I can only finish off a handful of them. Right, they are going to do a fair bit of damage to me. So for safety, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink my dexterity potion. And I'm also going to drink my blood potion. There we go. So just take a little bit of health there. And now my defend gives me seven, which is not great, but it'll have to flip in do. And I can finish off one of the ones doing five damage to me immediately. So, yeah, just do that. Finish you off and get you out of the way. So now I'm only going to take, what, six damage, I think? So that's not too bad. But one of them's probably going to do like a little string shot at me. Yeah, weakened. I don't like weakened at all. You are only just making it through my shield. I would like to get a great big air of effect in. That'd be marvellous. And Ooh, this'll do. Flame barrel would be good. Then again, anger starting to show up. I like a bit of anger. Anger is good. So six damage. Okay, I've also got myself a handful of strikes. So if I use six damage on any of these, they'll actually go down. So you're doing a bit of damage to me. So let's actually make sure we've got you finished off. So yeah, I can finish you off immediately. Let's just make sure you're finished off. At that point... All I can do now is either strike and shrug it off for 10 or 14 blocks. Not bad, actually. 14 block is total defense and some of them will take a bit of damage back. So that's fine. That makes me safe this turn and it'll be easier to finish you guys off next turn. You're not attacking me so you don't take the damage back. You are. You take the damage back. Okay, that's not too bad, really. And sadly, I've got... Oh, I've got like no flipping attacks on this occasion. Like drop kick, which is not that good. Um, okay, what if I was to, yeah, you know what, I'll armament myself, gain seven block, and on top of that, I need to pick a card to upgrade. I've got seven right now, so they're barely doing any damage to me, really. If I were to upgrade dropkick, how much would that actually do, by the way? That would do six damage, not enough to finish any of them off, so in which case, I will actually go for... Yeah, I'll go for the block. I may as well make sure I'm 100% safe here. And then I'll just go for a light drop kick. Just to basically start getting these guys into a position where I definitely can finish them off next turn. Yeah, unfortunately that weakness is kind of annoying. So I'm struggling to do much damage to these guys. That was just an unfortunate draw of cards. Yeah, I've got a bit of trash in my deck right now I need to get rid of. Still... Blood for blood is now much better than it was. And blood for blood can just finish you off in one go. Screw you. Anger is done show up. So that's actually a six. So I can finish, yeah, I can finish you off with an anger. And anger is starting to multiply. And then give myself the seven. Nothing you can do to me. Screw you, you stupid slimy bastard. And that means now I've barely taken any damage. I can heal myself up fully. Ready for the final boss of this here spire. And by the way, I'm very angry at you. Job done. Boom. Bit of gold. Another card. So power through. Add two wounds into your hand. Gain 15 block. No, I don't think so. Entrench. Double your block. Now, is that ever going to be worth doing? Because I feel like that's just actually taking up space in my hand. I don't like that. Honestly, I'm not keen on either of these, to be honest. Those are... Those are not great. No. Not 100% sure about any of that. I guess I'll take a war cry because it's actually free. The other two I'm not convinced by. Right, over to the fire. And as much as I'd love to smith up, take the healing. So that's pretty much back up to full health. And now uh, we've made it to the top of the spire. And that means uh, there's going to be some form of boss. Hello, it's a black hole. Right, okay. So <laughs> I've no idea what it's doing because it's a black hole. So that's reasonable. Oh, it's a hexa ghost officially. That's nice. Right. How are we going to deal with you when we have no idea what you're cocky doing? I don't know. I guess I'll rupture, because I may as well have that set, because that's just ready to go. Um, I suppose we'll also just anger in your direction too. 
No, I'm not sure there's any point in flame barriering because I don't know whether it's attacking or not. So I guess I'll just start laying a bit of light damage on it. I'll just shrug off and draw because why not? Um, okay. What's it doing at this point? It is... Oh, it's doing something. Okay, it's about to do 8 times 6. And, oh, well, this is the time it would have been perfect to have flame barrier. But, okay, fine, whatever. So it's about to do a terrifying amount of damage to me. And on this occasion... I've not actually got much of the wave defense ready to go. Okay, so... Eight times six. Really? That's that's what you're planning to do, is it? Um, so I can block ten of that. Oh, God. Right, well, that's tough. That's a bit on the mean side. I mean, I guess I could put two vulnerable on it. It's not spectacular. Uh, I've got no potions. Um... Let's just vulnerable it a bit. Yeah, I've got no way of making it weak. Put five block on. It's about to absolutely annihilate me. Yeah, the flame wall would have been nice at this point. Ouch! It's half my health, you bastard. Still, at least blood for blood's free, I suppose. So that's nice. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Um. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to armament myself. And I'm going to... Can I actually increase blood for blood? Yeah, it's 22 damage. That's actually not bad. I'll, I'll get that done. So we may as well get that done for free. So that's good. That'll be showing up again at some point or another. Uh, Warcry is free as well. So I may as well actually draw a card and then put a card from my hand onto the top of my draw pile. Um, yeah, I'll put that in there. Sure, you can go over there. Warcry goes away. That gets exhausted, so three bonus damage. And now I can start, yeah, duplicating anger. As time goes by, I might be able to do more and more. And I've still got, I've still got flipping action points and I've got no way of using them. So end my turn with a spare action point. Still, you're not doing anything to me this turn aside from something that's going to do damage to me. And burn. Oh, he's just added a burn into my hand. Oh, that's no good. Okay, use anger under all circumstances. Just keep using anger. If I'm lucky, I might draw even more anger. And I did not draw more anger. He's going for a five times two on this occasion. Get anger in play, alright? Just get more and more anger going. Eventually, I'll be able to just overwhelm him by just being massively annoyed. Um, still got two. Is it worth me? Yeah, you know what? Do a total block at that point. So, there's nothing he can do, and also, there's something about colours going on with the colours around him. Um, at this point, oh, that's a block. Okay. Right, so, ah, when he actually fully lights up in green, do bad things happen? And Oh, that's what that is. He just put something annoying in my deck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, okay. Bash him. All right, get the bash in. And now, blood for blood is free and does 38 damage. And anger is free and does 14 damage. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're starting to get somewhere, actually. Uh, get a bit of a block on. I can't do much, but okay, it's going to have to do... Okay, we're turning the tide here. Vulnerable is doing good work, but he's burning me more and more and more. But anger's starting to show up on flipping mass. All right, I've got more and more anger. What are you doing, by the way? You're about to block and buff. Okay, um, you're actually vulnerable right now. 14 and duplicate anger. 14, duplicate anger. Okay, I'm getting really annoyed at this black hole in space, and that's working surprisingly well. And also on top of that, drop kick. Gain myself more energy. Can I go up to four out of three? I'm not sure if that's even possible, but I guess I do. Right, you know what? Draw a card because I might be able to actually do something more useful. Yeah, you know what? Drop kick. Gain more energy at this point. And also um, armaments. And then use that to gain more block and upgrade. Yeah, upgrade the attack for this one round. And then strike. All right, that's a good bit of damage right there. Now we're starting to wail on this here black hole. Screw you, you black holey bastard. He's got 12 and he's doing plus two attack. I'm worried. I kind of want to finish him off sooner rather than later. Could I get at the flame barrier at this point? Is that even a good idea? I don't know. He's... No, he's not vulnerable anymore. Right, okay. Use anger to basically just knock down his shields at this point. Okay, so we're through his shielding. He's about to do 14 damage. And unfortunately, I have no ability to block aside from Flame Barrier. You know what? I'll take it because presumably that means he's going to take that damage in return, the four, twice. 
So we'll just keep weakening you. We might be in a position to finish him off next turn if I get lucky on the hand. In we go. Block. Yeah, screw you, you stupid bastard. Oh, it's my favorite ability. Bash is back. Right, bash. Get in. Do that. So that is, yeah, eight damage, but two vulnerable. And on top of that, we've got ourselves, yeah, anger. Doing 14. And in comes the finale. Screw you, you stupid black holy bastard. Nice. Ooh, and an energy potion for plus two energy if I really want to spam during one turn. That's useful. And I'm assuming these are special excellent abilities. Stop offering me barricade. I don't want it. Gain 30 block and then exhaust. Not bad because exhaust is actually useful to me. And dark embrace if I exhaust, draw a card. No, you know what? I'm taking Perfius. All right. So that went pretty well, all things considered. And now I get to choose a super awesome relic. So... Gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. That's not actually good, is it? I mean, there's only three normally. Hang on, does that just mean I don't get a choice anymore? That doesn't seem good at all. But then I suppose this is a bit of an evil curse tower, so fair enough. When you would die, heal to 50% of your maximum health works only once. And you see that? That's an unqualified good right there. Gain energy at the start of your turn. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. No, that seems like a bad sort of a thing. You know what? I'll take the lizard tail. So next time when I would die, I'll now do better than I would have done otherwise. So that's pretty good. Happy with that. So yeah, this is the point where I kind of originally assumed, oh, well, I've won. I've beaten the spire. I'm such a badass. No, no, you just get given another tougher spire. So that's good. Right, well, I've got a giant pile of money right now. So I wouldn't mind actually, yeah, finding my way to a shop sooner or later. So you know what? Yeah, we'll start down over here. And then we'll take the mystery room. I like the mystery room. Yeah, we'll take one enemy, then the mystery room, then a shop. And hello there. You're like a weird angel thing or something. And you're about to attack me five times two. So as a result of that, yeah, potentially drop kick would be very good. I'm just going to armament myself, actually. So I can potentially boost up this to six damage back. So yeah, that's going to be 12 damage for you. So I'm just going to take that. Then I'm going to immediately play it. Because, yeah, then I'm totally safe and you're in trouble. So let's actually just double check that there. You should be taking, actually, yeah, there you go, six times two. So 12 damage to him. Marvelous, liking that. And get the anger out sooner rather than later. Unless, of course, there is... Okay, I'm going to pommel strike you first in case I can actually draw... No, I was hoping to draw the mace, but unfortunately not. Right, uh, get all of the anger out because I want anger to start duplicating immediately because that's just free damage. You're not planning to attack, but if I exhaust this, that's just free damage against you. So we'll just actually shuffle you into the deck. That's fine. And there we go. Three more damage to him for exhausting and blood for blood. Too expensive for now. So uh, I guess I defend because I might as well. And now the enemy does nothing of note to me. He says, suffer. How are you planning to make me suffer? You've cast something on me. What is the thing you've caught on me? Whenever you play a non-attacking card, shuffle one dazed. Right, okay, I see the problem here. Well, what I'm going to do then is just basically attack you. By the way, you're vulnerable now, and that means you're going to be really screwed, because I'm good with vulnerable people. Screw your stupid curse. What curse are you planning to put on me right now, by the way? A weakened. That's a bit annoying, unfortunately. Right, yes. Um, Got a double strike here. Doesn't do much, but goes up to seven because you're vulnerable. He's planning to attack me pretty hard right now. I can use a skill, but that will give me... Hang on. Yeah, that'll give me a dazed. Okay, you are planning to hit me pretty hard. So I feel like this fight's close to over at this point. So we'll just have to deal with that. I could hit you for, yes, yeah, seven and seven again. It's going to do a bit of damage. Yeah, you know what? I'll give myself one more block and then I'm actually going to give myself... Ooh, anger's right there. Right, we'll give you an anger. Start that multiplying. Put another strike in. And now just basically hope that anger starts showing up on mass. So that's going to do, what, eight damage to me? Yeah, eight damage. Not bad. I can heal that off for now. His vulnerable has sadly worn off. I've got multiple dazed, so yeah, that's all falling apart a bit. My armaments is kind of garbage. Right, just get anger in play at that point. Yep, start doubling up the anger. There's not much I can do this turn, actually. In fact, I may as well just skip my turn. Otherwise, I'm just going to actually give myself more and more dazed cards. So, uh, 
yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get my turn. And as a result of that, yes, he just takes... Hang on, did I just... I think I must have exhausted something, but I'm not sure what it was. Right, he's now stronger than he was, but screw it. At this point, I can start just angering and slicing him to death. And you're dead. Goodbye. Right, not bad. And I heal back up to 86. Take gold and... Uh, what do I want? Ooh, corruption. Skills cost nothing. Whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. Ah. So, all my skills are free, but then after I use them once, they're gone. But, at that point, three damage. Ooh. Every single skill could be worth three damage against the enemy. Under the right circumstances, because I've got that relic, that could be really useful. Yeah, you know what? I don't like flex and I've already got armament, so I'm going to take that because I don't have to use it. Right, on to the random event tire. We'll see what shows up next. So, he's got an eye patch and a devilish grin. Well, I trust him already. Right, I can test Jax. Get myself Jaxed for minus three hit points plus two strength. Not a good trade to my mind. Become a test subject. Transform two cards. Okay, when you say transform, do we mean like, you know, improve or do we just mean they change? Or get a special relic. You know what? I'm going to take the relic. I will take a relic, thank you. And I feel my muscle fibers twitch. I'm sure that's a good thing. Mutagenic strength. Start each combat with three strength. At the end of your first turn, lose three strength. Oh, that's... It's not great, actually. I really hope that wears off after like one turn. Otherwise, uh, that's... That's going to be a problem, actually. Also, when it says lose three strength, does that mean lose the three back to zero or go to minus? Okay, you know what? We'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, Mr. Merchant. Right, now this is going to be good stuff right here. I can afford a lot of these here cards. And if I wanted to, I can even afford the really awesome relics. Cauldron, bruise five random potions. And then we've got next two non-boss chests contain two relics. Or, whenever you would receive 5 or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to 1. Honestly, I'm not so worried about that little damage. I'd rather, like, you know, block that damage, so I'm not sure about that. Ooh, now this is fun. Gain an artifact and exhaust. Draw 3 cards, then exhaust. Okay, what else have we got here? A cheap clothesline ability. So, apply... Ah! Apply to weak, so weak reduces their attacking damage. Vulnerable makes them more vulnerable to being hit harder. Yeah, I would like to do vulnerable, but it just keeps not showing up, unfortunately. Now, combust is kind of fun. So, just sacrificing a single hit point for five damage to all enemies. Under the right circumstances, that could actually be very, very useful indeed. And a body slam, deal damage equal to your block. Is that that great? I don't know if that's that great, to be honest, but... It's not bad. You know what? I'll take the clothesline. That's nice and cheap. The body slam is nice and cheap too. Could take the master of strategy. That's three cards. Like, I've got a fair few cards that cost nothing because I'm using anger so much. Yeah, I'm going to take the combust. The combust is pretty good. Still got 215. I'm going to take the body slam and then gain seven block and then exhaust a random card in your hand. Not bad, because that means I could get rid of a useless card. But then again, that's only three damage. I shouldn't be exhausting cards for no reason. I feel like that's not useful. You know what? I'll just basically pay for a random artifact. A hundred for a random artifact is not bad at all. And that'll probably do for me. I don't really want true grit. Right, random encounter, but that leads up towards, well, either a boss or a bonfire. Actually, two random encounters in a row. You kind of don't want to take too many random encounters. You need to do some fighting. Yeah, you know what? I'll take two little bosses into a bonfire. That's probably a good idea. So, what have we got here? We've got ourselves three things who are flying. Alright, what does flying mean precisely? 50% less attack damage, cancelled if dealt attack damage three times in one turn. Okay, that's not great to be honest. So yeah, 11 is reduced down to not much. They're all planning to actually go for me with 1 times 5 so my flaming wall would be really, really useful right now. And yeah, you know what? I'll actually use Shrug It Off to see if I just happen to get lucky and sadly I did not, no. Right, they've not got much health so just start focusing on the weaker one for now and multiplying anger out. I could Impervious in order to- Ah, that would actually mean I block all damage and on top of that, yeah, I exhaust it immediately and then you guys all take 3 damage. Not bad, to be honest, that'll be fine, and then just at that point, skip. Just get a whole bunch of them out of my hand. So, I was stronger, and good, it's just the strength wears off. So, they're all going for me, and screw you, that did absolutely nothing. Good, good. 
And here we go, Corruption. So, skills cost zero, because that's a power that hangs around the entire fight. Now, they're doing it again. Okay, this is going to be hilarious at this point. Can I actually do anything to make that better? I'm just going to Pommel Strike, because I may as well. Weaken that one at the back, please. And uh, no, just Standard Strikes. In which case, just take the Flame Barrier. So, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. But they're going to take a lot more in return. This should actually pretty much hard counter you, you stupid bastards. So, you take four. You're going to take way more than that. Yeah, good luck with that, actually. My flame barrier is basically going to murder you. Right, so one of them basically just committed suicide. The other one almost did. Love it. You know what? Do this. Get myself an artifact, please. And... Hang on. Did that just give me the same artifact twice? I thought that was supposed to give me a free artifact. Well, I've exhausted it, so they took some free damage, so I guess I can't complain. Right, Body Slam's kind of useless, because I've got no block and no ability to actually give myself block. And... Okay, none of this is great. I guess I'll close line you, see if I can get... There we go, zero times five, spot on. That's kind of what I was hoping for. And you, you can just die, actually. Right, wrap up there. You at this point should do literally nothing to me. Yep, 5 times 0 is indeed still 0. God loves 0. And at this point, yeah, blood for blood actually triggers super early because you've done loads of stupid attacks to me. So that's 9 right there. I could actually use armaments. Actually, he's using 0 times 5 again. Uh, at this point, yeah, just actually make blood for blood even better. Screw you, you stupid bastard. So now I can blood for blood for free. So that is 11 damage. You're almost dead. Is that enough to finish you off? Yes, it is. Goodbye, you stupid birdie bastards. Right, interesting tactical fight there. And now we've got ourselves one nice defensive potion. And two, True Grit Plus just showed up. Nine block but exhaust. Ah, do I get to choose which card is exhausted? That's not so bad if I get to do that. Pommel Strike's actually nice. Nine off one energy point is not so bad. And I get to draw off that too. Plus two strength. Not bad. I mean, depends if it lasts. I think powers last, don't they? I think they actually last. So, hmm... That's actually interesting. You know what? I will choose True Grip because 9 blocks not bad and getting to choose to exhaust is okay. As long as I get to choose what it actually, you know, is. So, okay, move straight on and hello! It's an artifact and a ghost. So, what's your guy's deal? You've got... Ah, you've got Barricade. So, he has 40 shield and it doesn't go away at the end of his turn. Fine, so he's got very little health. But he just sort of hides at the back and he just adds more and more and more to it. Alternatively, this guy's an artifact so can negate one debuff. Okay, so I can't debuff him immediately. He'd basically just shrug it off. Gotcha. Neither of them are actually planning to attack me. So yeah, a bit of a weak hand to start off with here. May as well shrug it off just to actually basically pick up an extra card. Because I've not got much in my hand right now. Impervious is useless to me for the time being. True Grit is useless aside from doing three damage, so... Uh, I mean, I guess I could just get rid of one strike. Yeah, you know what, sure. Nine block, and then it just basically exhaust that for bonus three damage to both of you. Not great, but not terrible either. Drop kick is eight right there. I guess I could do a bit of damage, so... Yep, yeah, you know what, sure, that's, that's fine. There's not much I can do here. That's not a great starting hand. So the tank guy's just tanking. He's just dazing me. That's no good. Right, I need to finish off the artifact sooner rather than later. Okay, now, now you're attacking me when I can't actually defend myself anymore. Right, well, I don't like you either. And on top of that, he's actually got artifact times three. So I can't easily actually do any form of debuff to these guys. Gotcha. Then again, when it says negates one debuff, does that mean if I actually do close lines, that's two weak, it only negates the first week? I don't know, but I kind of need to block anyway, so 19 damage coming in and something else on top of that. If I were to upgrade that though, yeah, armament is 5 immediately, so I may as well do that, and then I could actually upgrade one of these defences just to get way more defence going on. Got 5 already. If I close line, that will be 14 damage and 3 weak. No, I'd probably be better off going for one of the actual cards here. Yeah, you know what, screw it. Just play defensively for this turn. Bit unlucky on the draws so far, but at the bare minimum, I can make sure I don't take too much in the way of damage from it. So get rid of all of that over there. So that will do, I think, one hit points worth of damage to me. But some other condition too. 
And what have you just done to me, by the way? Yeah, I think I just saw Frail. 25% less block from cards. Okay, not so bad, and anger starting to show up too. So, let's just start actually, yeah, getting you down over here. You're doing 10 times 2, which is not nothing. Blood for blood is a bit expensive for the time being. I mean, I could do it, but... Yeah, you're up to, wow, 62 shields. Marvellous. Uh, I can do... Ah, oh, I can't quite finish you off, can I? Uh, no, 18 damage. Okay, alternatively, 6, 6, and... Shield. No, I can't quite finish you off. Actually, yes, I can. Right, I wouldn't mind just finishing you off just because I feel like it. So you go down and go over here to... Yes, energy potion. Drink that, get myself a couple of extra energies. So you, my good man, are now dead. So whatever you were planning to do doesn't happen, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of damage from him. But now I just need to focus on wailing on him to get his flipping health down. So that hurt a bit, but I can heal off some of it at the end of the turn. It's not the worst thing in the world. Now, artifact, then exhaust. Do it, and... Okay, well on the plus side, I guess I did the damage from exhausting, but... I'm not sure why I just get the same artifact over and over. He's coming at me with 10. He's also planning to heal up. I can actually flame barrier right now. You know what? I'll pommel strike first just to see if something good comes out. Yeah, I was hoping for anger. Let's just keep the anger multiplying as fast as possible. As he's about to do 10 damage, let's actually yeah, make sure he takes a bit of damage in return. We are slowly getting through that shield. He's about to give himself 4 damage right there. Right, down from 51 down to 47. We're just about keeping up here. Just about. Sadly, Bash doesn't do anything because, yeah, he'll heal that straight off, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, my block's not going to do much either. Actually, he's he's hitting me surprisingly hard. But, okay, we're lacking in options here. Go for a Bash just to slowly start getting that out of the way and slowly start wearing down him being an artifact. Defend a bit, but that's only a three. I'm about to take 17 damage. That's... It's painful. I probably should have actually used the uh, the shield potion, whatever it's called. Yep, taking some hits now. This guy is a bit on the annoying side. Still, anger, anger, anger. Anger is working pretty well. I just need more and more anger showing up. I can block his damage on this occasion. So, yeah, that will block pretty much all of that and give him four in return. So that's good at least. At this point, yeah, I'm stuck in a bit of a war of attrition. But if he goes back up to... Okay, 42... We're wearing him down, but it's it's too slow. I just need the right things to start showing up, damn it. And Day's disappearing as well. That's no good. Right, take the potion. That's actually five dexterity. That's not bad at all. So now, that's going to do a much better job doing a bit of blocking. So I can upgrade a card for the rest of this turn. I've still got all three. Yeah, you know what? Do it, and then upgrade the shield. Let's actually stop taking so much damage, damn it. So now I can actually get that in play right now. 16. Not bad at all. I can at least get a strike in. And he's not healing up this turn. I just need those angers to start appearing. Sooner or later, the next time we do a great big shuffle, hopefully the anger's going to start coming through. And Frail has worn off too. That's good. Right, now I'm back up to 13 block and draw a card. So just keep drawing. That's a pommel strike. Uh, do that too. He's only doing 10 on this occasion. So yeah, keep on. That is a drop kick. Drop kick's kind of useless to me right now. Still, I've got a few turns of that shield potion. So uh, yeah, make it happen. Sure, let's just keep ourselves nice and safe. <laughs> this is a slow fight here, but uh, we're going to win. We're going to win in the end, damn it, sooner or later. Ah, now this is what I want to see. The anger's starting to appear. Yeah, there we go. Anger. Anger. That's the stuff. Now we're starting to cut through. Right, defend myself up a bit with 13. Keep hitting him as well. And I may as well exhaust, actually. I've got nothing to actually use it with, but we may as well exhaust it. Just do a bit more damage. Down to 14. We're almost through and he's not actually getting it up this turn. I'm going to take even more damage. Bloody hell. Uh, okay, but look at this. Now, now we've got anger. Now we've actually got true grit. So... Yeah, gain 14 block. That's absolutely fine. Exhaust rupture, because I'm still not 100% sure what it does, but it doesn't seem great, to be honest. Right, so that actually gets exhausted for a bit of bonus damage right there. We have got ourselves anger. Start actually just duplicating that. Blood for blood. Oh, hang on. That is 18 damage. Oh, we're so close. We're so flipping close. So that's actually down to, yeah, down to five. I can block whatever he's doing right now. And you know what? Screw it. 
just actually uh, do the combust at this point. Wow, that lasts for five turns. Okay, so... Oh, that killed him! Yes! Good! Good, good, good. Right, well, that was tougher than I thought it was going to be. Now, bloodletting. Lose three hit points for two energy. That's never going to be a good idea. Apply five weak and vulnerable to... Oh, five weak and vulnerable to everything. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that's what I wanted to see. Now, I desperately need to heal up. I'd love to smith, but I've got to take the healing right now. Right, another basic enemy, and then we need to choose a path, which is... Uh, yeah, whether we feel up to an elite... There's a lot of enemies up in that direction, mind. Okay, just need to take out this guy first. This is starting to get tougher. And hello, you're incredibly ugly. You've got plated armor. What does that do? At the end of the turn, gives 14 block. Receiving unblocked damage reduces plate armor by one. Fine, so I need to get through that armor and then start reducing it. Otherwise, he'll keep regenerating it forever. Gotcha. He's about to attack me for six times two. You're about to self-buff. All right, get the anger in play at least. That's 11 damage immediately. That's not bad. That's a good start right there. Unfortunately, I can't actually cut through him. Probably best actually in that case, we actually finish off the, the mouse until we're actually in a good position. Or well, it's not a mouse anymore, it's a dead mouse. But you know what I mean. Do I actually have a plus anymore? No, I don't. Do at least a little bit of a defence there. And hang on. Oh, I still had another flipping action point. Sorry, I forgot anger's free. So I didn't need to take damage there. You're growing, which is maybe a bit concerning. And yeah, you get all your health back. So until we're ready to go, don't actually bother cutting through his defences. Because right now, we'll barely do anything to him. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Um, okay. Too many strikes. That's the problem here. What do I want to do? You know what? I'm just going to finish off him right now. I'm just going to get him finished off. Uh, which means I'll take 18, which is going to hurt, but screw it. In comes the 18. Ouch. Yeah, I know. I know I'm fine. I'll be okay. Now we just need to start wailing on him. So gain an artifact and exhaust. Yeah, may as well. And that is... Why is it always the same artifact? I don't understand why that is as it is, but whatever. Oh, I see. Hang on. Yeah, those things at the top are relics. Artifact is the ability that means you're negating a debuff. Okay, I now see how that works. That's fine. Okay, well, I need to block up a little bit. And at the same time, I will actually, yeah, just get rid of Warcry because I'm not convinced by it, to be honest. That'll do at least a little bit of damage. I will get, yeah, a Vulnerable on you. That's a good starting point. He's going to do even more damage to me and screw it. I'm going to, no, I don't have enough actual energy to combust. So I cannot set myself on fire. But at the bare minimum, we're going to, yeah, do a bit of damage there and... Okay, I'm just about holding on. Just about holding on for the time being. He's about to attack me and flame barrier. I just need to get... Bloody hell, I need to get the right thing in play here. I'm just struggling to get the right things in play. You know what? Just hit him with the anger for 14. That gets rid of his shield. Now, now we can start getting rid of his plate armor, damn it. So hit him right now with... Ooh. Do I want to defend or would I rather clothesline? Yeah, clothesline him just to get the weakness on him. So now that's down to 7 right there. So that's fine. And then body slam. Can't use flame barrier anymore. I guess I may as well rupture, which I'm still not 100% sure how it works, but screw it. I'm about to take even more damage, but we're going to be fine. All right. We are reducing his plate armor, not by much, but we've reduced it at least a little bit. And uh, there we go. Shockwave finally makes an appearance. Right now he is, yeah, weakened, but not vulnerable. So, okay. I need to make him vulnerable, so that's all absolutely fine. So shockwave, okay, five weak, five vulnerable. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, but I'm a bit worried. I've got no defense this turn, aside from armaments, which suggests I kind of need to play armaments, meaning I can't play... Oh, bloody hell. Right, ah, no, hang on. I can play dropkick, because if vulnerable, then that's fine. So, okay, what I need to do is... I need to make sure I do this in the right order. So... Shockwave needs to go first regardless. I'd like to play Pommel Strike, but I'm not sure I've got the option to. Right, so that's going to do a whole bunch of stuff to him. Next, I need to drop kick to get energy back. So that's going to do a good amount of damage right there. I'm going to say good amount of damage, not spectacular, to be honest. Uh, but that gets me my energy back. So I've still got one energy. So I can do something to him. And I drew a new card, but it was impervious. I can't play that. He's about to do eight damage to me. I've got no way of blocking aside from armaments, which is a bit of a waste, but actually, the upgrade lasts, so yeah, you know what, 
take it. Uh, what's the upgrade for corruption? Goes down to two. Not great, to be honest. I'm not convinced by corruption. Bring in Pommel Strike instead. Yeah, Pommel Strike's good. I like Pommel Strike. Uh, so that's now in play, but nothing I can do with that. And once again, I think we managed to... No, we didn't manage to get through the play timer. The cards are just kind of coming out in not a great order right now. But now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now we can anger straight away. That's good. He's about to do eight. Now I can start hitting you with, oh, a 31 blood for blood. Yeah, because you, you my good man, are vulnerable for a fair few turns yet. Now at this point... Yeah, actually, this is pretty good. I'm just going to shrug it off in order to draw a card. Now I can do a double attack. Yeah, he's not doing anything to me. So 10 and 10. And that's all I can do. But next turn, unless I get really unlucky on the draw, we should be okay. Right? Hopefully. I think we should be okay. All right. So, oh yeah, anger. Just anger him and he's dead. Right. I'm liking anger, but it takes a bit of time to come around because my deck's a bit too large. Arguably, a smaller deck where Anger comes around more regularly might be more powerful. Ooh, Cleave Plus. Yeah, 11 damage to all enemies. Take that. For one action point, that's actually a decent amount of damage, especially if there's multiple things on the field. Um, okay. I'm down to only 28 health, so I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take the random encounter because at the bare minimum, I can opt out of it if it's a nightmare. So the Council of Ghosts wants to make me into their toy, which doesn't sound like a good thing in many ways, but they're offering me a taste of their power. I would have to sacrifice 50% of my max hit points, which would, by the way, kill me, but the Lizard Tail would bring me back straight away, but I don't actually think that's really worth it. I'm going to say no to the Council of Ghosts. And now we get a treasure chest, so... Gold and a bag of marble. So, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's actually amazing. Vulnerable to all enemies. That's actually incredible. Okay, so, right, that's that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good right there. Now, hang on, there's... Right, there's a campfire up in that direction. So, I need to avoid the elite. Yeah, need to fight one thing. Random encounter. Fight another thing. Oh, I'm guessing you've got plate armor. You've 100% got plate armor, don't you? And no, no, you don't. Despite the fact you're demonstrably wearing armor, you just don't. So that's interesting. Okay, so what do we need to do here? You're planning to attack me for eight. You're planning to just defend. So I guess we'll just actually work on, yeah, the weaker one for now. Actually, you know what? If you're about to defend, oh, you know what? If there's an option, go for the guy who's got less health first because you might be able to actually finish him off faster. So, hang on. Deal damage equal to your block. I don't have three block. Hang on. I don't have three block. What are you talking about? I'm not sure how that's being calculated because I don't have three block. I've got no block at all right now, but okay, I suppose. Right, so what do I need to do at this point? Blood for blood I can't do. Flame barrier would at least do four damage to that guy, so I kind of may as well. And then body slam is... Aha! Then, Body Slam starts getting good. Yes, so that is... Oh, 26 damage. He's going to kill himself against my actual Flame Barrier. Right, so I kind of did that accidentally, but worked out in the end. And oh, he managed to shield up first. Boo. Boo, I say. Okay, so now everyone's just shielding up. For some reason, that Centurion's just shielding up over and over and over again. Right. What do I need to do here? And, ah, sadly, flipping vulnerable just wore off because it was only a single vulnerable. Okay, so drop kick doesn't do that much, unfortunately. I can pommel strike you to draw a card. I want that mystic off the field, basically. And, yeah, actually, a basic strike should do it now. So, just take that. Okay, so he's dead. And now the Centurion. So, not much we can do, really, aside from, yeah, just hitting him with a standard attack. So, he's just blocking... And hopefully, that's his deal. He just likes blocking over and over again. Because if he does, ouch, that's that's a lot of defense, actually. Okay, so what we want to do with you now is... Hmm, I can't both bash and clothesline. Actually, hang on, what's that potion I've got again? Gain five strength. Okay, and then, yeah, you're not on minus five. It's just that, yeah, for one turn, you're a lot better. So, okay, don't worry about that for now. Would I rather apply Vulnerable? Yeah, I'd probably actually want to do... Oh, I'm frail for the time being. That's a bit annoying. He's about to do 12. It's not so bad. I'm going to get the Vulnerable on him. Yeah, let's get the Vulnerable on him because I do have that special relic. So, uh, 
then maybe get, yeah, then actually try and get clothesline back into the deck next time. So that's three damage against you anyway, so that's nice. Uh, and then, remaining action points, just actually get the defend on. So, not great. I'll still take nine because I'm frail, but frail's about to wear off, so that's good at least. Down to 19 hit points. That's... That's no good. That's no good at all. But now he's got no defense, and I've got armaments available, which is welcome. Which means, actually, I could armaments into anger into clothesline. Yeah, I need to defend anyway. I can't kill him this turn. So, uh, get close line up for, yeah, 14 and 3 weak. That's actually pretty damn good. So, get that in play. Then we may as well just anger him. And, yeah, anger starting to multiply. Close line, 14 and 3. So, that should get him down to, yes, a nice 9. That'll do the job right there. So, he's still going to do 4 hit points. So, I'm still in the process of dying. But, like, only a bit. I'm still, you know, mostly okay. And, uh, yeah, gain an artifact, which is not a relic. They're different, uh, but it's a freebie, and it's three damage to you, so I kind of may as well. So, yeah, right now he is weakened, but no longer vulnerable. Okay, what do I want to do at this point? Because I've got one defend, which is not great. Corruption's kind of terrible. I could shockwave you. I mean, that's, yeah, weak and vulnerable to all enemies, so... Vulnerable is probably not a bad thing to get on him. I'm just a bit worried about everything. Right, so just get that on you. That's exhausted for another three damage. I need to... Yeah, I kind of just need to defend. I'm still going to take another seven. I'm really, really weak right now. The cards have not come down as I'd like to on this occasion. And down to eight hit points. Bloody hell. Uh, this better go well. Uh, I'm really hoping. There we go. Anger. That's what we needed. That's a 14 right there. What's he down to? 15. So I can do... Oh, bloody hell. Can I not finish him off? I can't finish him off. Wait, hang on. Maybe I can. Yes, I can because he is actually vulnerable right now. Right, there we go. You're dead. Good. So up to 14. Got a speed potion, which is all right. And headbutt plus. 12 damage. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. That's nice. Or more anger. Kind of like anger. No, headbutt plus. That seems really good. Then I can actually reuse really powerful cards. Right. Um, I need to go here because then I can opt out of... Uh-oh. Okay. So as it turns out, sometimes those rooms are actually trouble. Um, so are you flying? No, you're cultists, not birds. You're just pretending to be birds. Cultists actually aren't the worst things in the world. And uh, that's a 19 damage right there. And right now they're all trying to self-buff. So, okay. Um, yeah, we'll just use that on you, I suppose. Which is the weakest? Yeah, it's you at the front. So, we'll just anger you and start multiplying anger. We'll go for a strike up to 15, which is not bad. I've still got myself a little bit of stuff here. Yeah, there's not much I can do yet, unfortunately. I guess I may as well rupture, because I feel like it, and I'm going to block, because I can. Uh, right, they're all about to buff, but hopefully I can actually finish off that one at the front momentarily. Okay, so Ritual, at the end of the turn, gain 3 strength. So, okay, you're about to start getting better, and now they're going to try and do 18 damage to me, which is enough to kill me. So, that's, that's not good. It's not good at all. And also, yeah, Vulnerable's actually worn off. So, if, in theory, I actually kill one of them, I survive just... But block is only worth five. Hang on, I need to go into potions, like, right now. So, yeah, you know what? Go go for all the potions. Like, at the bare minimum, just drink everything right now. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to drink literally everything for the time being. <laughs> that's that's going to keep me uh, That's gonna keep me alive. It's still not enough to kill that bastard, unfortunately. Still, at least now, that defend gets me a ten, which is good. So now if I can find a way to kill this guy. That's 17 and too weak. But it kills him. That's 13. Okay. The only way to actually take out these guys is... Yeah, the only way to take out any of them is to close line, even though it's a bit of a waste of the week, but it's gonna have to do. Right, okay, and... Oh, everything wore off. Uh, still, at least at the bare minimum, I'm only taking two damage. So, down to 12. 12 hit points now. Everything's under control, and their strength just went up. So now, okay, this is this is all fine. 
everything's under control. I need to shockwave them, ideally. Maybe shockwave and defend. Actually, I can shrug off. Yeah, shrug off for an eight. That gets me... Ooh, the headbutt. Headbutt's nice, because then I can guarantee armor's going to show up next time. Yeah, you know what? Go for that. So, you at the back. You get headbutted, and I'll take anger plus, please. So, that moves over to my draw pass. That's definitely coming back out again. Right now, they're doing 18. I can get my defense up to 13. Gonna have to do it. Okay, everything's fine, but the anger's coming soon. The anger is coming. All right, just just don't worry about it. Everything's everything's fine. I'm not about to die to cultists. I'm about to die to cultists. Um, oh, I've got no defense. Well, apart from impervious. Okay, I have to take impervious. That's fine. So obviously we're angering that guy. Um, okay, I've got no choice but to take an impervious later, which is okay. So in which case, yeah, we just do one damage and then we just impervious up. So the bare minimum, I can actually yeah, I've done a bit of damage there. They're getting stronger. They're getting stronger every turn, aren't they? Yes, I I can't make this last. I'm screwed. Basically, unless I get a really good roll right now, I'm very dead. I'll take an artifact because that's three damage. Because, yeah, that's just a free exhaust. I've got anger right here for eight and duplicate anger plus. May as well. They're up to 15 damage now. I can do another three damage by exhausting via war cry because drop kick's not great for me right now. If I flame barrier, do I even survive? That's 12 block, and they're about to do 30. So no. No, I do not. But I do have the lizard tail. So they would at least do some damage back to themselves. So, okay. I may as well, yeah, just actually uh, get rid of something. Oh, I got cleave. That's nice. Uh, yeah, just actually get rid of that. Uh, shove that back out the way. That's another 3 damage. Okay, I've now got... Actually, that has... Has that just saved my life? I think that might have just saved my life because now Cleave is actually going to finish off the one at the back and leave me with enough points to... Oh, that just saved me. I'm not dying. I mean, I've got the lizard tail, but like, you know, I'd rather keep that in reserve for the boss, please. So, okay. Now he's going to attack me and take one hit in return. And there we go. We need to finish this guy off. Like, seriously, now, why have I not got any good offensive things right now? Why is nothing good here? Okay. 18. 18 damage now. Corruption is not useful to me at the minute. I've got no potions. Um, okay. That's five, and also gives me an upgrade. He's only doing 18. There's only one of him. If I upgrade this to be an eight, it's the best I've got, to be honest. So that's... That's 13. I still don't live. All right, I'm, st I'm still dying at that point. That's that's still a dead scenario, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, but hang on, there's... No, I can do 13 damage with Body Slam now, which is a decent amount of damage, but he's about to kill me, unfortunately. But Lizard Tail will save me. Yay, Lizard Tail. Thank you, Lizard Tail. Right, so now I can kill this bastard. Oh, yeah, now all the good cards show up. Now the anger shows up. Now the headbutt shows up. Sure, now I can kill him no problem whatsoever after I had to waste my lizard tail. Whatever. Right, what else have we got here? Ooh, perfected strike two. Six damage, three additional damage for all cards containing strike. Okay, that's... That's interesting. I mean, I quite like shrug it off. I wouldn't mind a second one of them. You know what? I'll take perfected strike. Because that's actually an upgraded card. So that's that's probably a good thing. Maybe don't go and take on the elite right now. Maybe try and just fight my way to the bloody fire. Because otherwise I'm going to die. Okay, plant monster. Is vulnerable for one turn, but also is malleable. Upon receiving attack damage, gains plus three to block. Block gain increases as malleable is triggered. Resets to three at the start of your turn. Okay, uh, one, just give me artifact. There we go. So now I'm a bit defended. You've taken a bit of damage right there. You're vulnerable for now. So I want to basically throw everything I've got at him immediately. Because there's 19 right there, which is not bad at all. I can also apply weak to you. Don't really like true grit, to be honest. Um, Yeah, I probably should get that. That's 26 damage right there. So get weak. So that's now down to five times three. I've got... Actually, I probably should True Grit right now. So I'm going to True Grit in order to exhaust Warcry. So actually, I only take six damage. 
that's that's not bad at all. And I've like taken out over half their health. So that's a good first round right there. Okay, so right now you are, yeah, weakened, but not vulnerable anymore. But, oh, the cards are coming up in my favor on this occasion. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to shockwave you immediately. All right, so you're not looking hot there. And now I'm going to anger you for free for a 19. Down to 9 and strike finishes you off. Though I tell you what, I'm going to pommel strike you just to be showy. Boom, down you go. Right, that went better. Gambler's Brew. Discard any number of cards, draw that many. Okay, that's good in an emergency. Lose six hit points, gain two energy. Offering. Oh, no, that's that's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. But I'll take another headbutt. Headbutt's good. Right, now I can heal up a bit. Okay, this is actually... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, there was another one just up the road. I'm actually going to smith. And I'm going to upgrade Bash because I do really like Bash. Bash is good. So we're just going to get that upgraded. That's a good card right there. So proceed. And now we've got, yeah, random events. So hopefully not a fight. And no, it is actually a note for yourself. Okay. You find a folded note and a card inside. It reads, the heart awaits. This is your handwriting. Okay. So take and give. I can receive, defend and store a card. So I'm basically receiving a defend, and it's kind of a trash card, but okay. You know, I'm going to give you a defend in return. So I've made no changes to the deck whatsoever. Now, I have the chance to heal up. I'm going into a boss, and it's going to kill me. But, you know, I may as well. I may as well just uh, be at full health. I'm not even at full health. Right, so I'm guessing some form of king or something. The king of the city. Hello, yes, okay. King, gotcha. He is vulnerable for one turn. He's attacking me for 12 and a debuff. I could headbutt, but that would do literally nothing. I could just corruption this turn, or I could combust for five hit points to all enemies. Honestly, that's not so worth it when there's not a group of them. That's not great. There's literally nothing in my exhaust pile, but that is 15 damage. So you would do, yeah, 15. You do 26. I kind of may as well. Though actually, you know what? No. Strike and then headbutt. Then I get the strike back. Because strike is not bad, to be honest. So, yeah, just do that. And then immediately I get back the strike, which goes automatically because there was no option. And then, I mean, he's coming for me, but I have no way of defending right now. So, unfortunately, I just take 12 damage. But I've done a not terrible amount of damage to him. And my strength has worn off from my mutation. Okay, what's your next plan? He's not planning to do anything aside from buff himself in some way. Which is a bit on the terrifying side, but at least that means I can basically just go all out and attacking him. So, Pommel Strike for 9. Get myself a block, but don't actually need it. And, okay, Cleave is not terrible, to be honest. I mean, hmm. Yeah, we're not doing much to him right now. May as well just keep headbutting. So now headbutt and I can pull something out for next time. I'll pull out a Pommel Strike. Pommel Strike's pretty good just for giving me more options. Okay, so I'm guessing he's about to become terrifying. What buff are you about to give yourself? Okay, Strength. Strength 2. So he's now going to do 27. But I do have a hat. I do have Flame Barrier. Unfortunately, I have Frail on me. Why do I have Frail again? I'm not sure why I've got Frail. I could weaken him. But that is... It's two energy points, which is quite a lot. I can at least anger him. Okay, so anger, that's an eight, and it's going to start multiplying. If I can just drag this fight out long enough, anger can save me. And I know I can't both flame barrier and clothesline. So am I better off going for, yeah, nine block over three? Yeah, I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to flame barrier up. Which will take, well, not much. Then do I want to pommel strike for nine or do I want to try and defend? Three is not much. You know what? I'll just take a, a card in case I was hoping for... Oh, that's... Right, that's the worst possible scenario. Bash is going straight in the discard pile where I'm not going to see it for multiple rounds. So that's actually pretty much the worst thing that could happen. 18 damage, he takes four back. I'm down to half health. Right, he's now planning to do some form of bad thing to me, but it's not that bad. I will take an artifact, because that means whatever bad thing you're planning to do, some of it is going to do nothing. So that's good. I could gain block and exhaust a card in my hand. I don't need to. 
I'd rather shockwave him times crazy. Yeah, you know what? This is a good time for a shockwave. Followed by a drop kick for a bit of damage. Followed by... Hmm. What do I actually need to do here? You know what? I may as well... No, don't True Grit. Don't exhaust that just yet. It's kind of useful. No, actually, hang on. True Grit doesn't exhaust itself. It exhausts something else for basically three damage. So, you know what? I'll do that because I can just get rid of Rupture. So, I don't understand Rupture, but it doesn't seem very good. So, that's just three damage off Rupture. Basically, I've just got rid of Rupture for three damage. Because now, if nothing else, it won't show up anymore. So, you call that a weapon... Does he just try and say mean things to me? Is that what he just did? He just was mean to me and it worked. Right, lovely. Right, he's trying to buff himself, but he's still got plenty of turns of vulnerable just yet. So I don't need to worry about defending. So 47 damage boosted up because he's vulnerable. Oh, I like that. And that is... Oh, that's so boosted because of all the strikes. Yeah, you know what? 47 damage. That's more flippin' like it. That's good stuff. I'm gonna draw. And oh, do I don't want to draw. Do I just want to attack? I just want to attack. That's 10. It's not bad. Uh, and then nothing more I can do. Okay. Over to you, your royal highness. He's going to buff himself up to... Oh, strength is now at four. Right, he's doing 18 a go. But anger is starting to show up here, which is good. What I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to armament, and I'm going to use that to boost blood for blood. So that's fine. That's now down to only one. I can anger you immediately for 14 damage, which is good. I've still got plenty of abilities here. I'm going to blood for blood right now. Yep, that's fine for 38. And I can strike for 10. Or I could war cry. Okay, draw one card. You know what, strike's not great. I'd rather defend. I'm going to basically bet that I might gain a defensive card here. So, yep, actually, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and no, 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 the other one, the other one, don't do that, put the strike over there, I need the defend right now, so defend now comes in for another five, so he does eight damage to me, which is not great, but not terrible either, but he's also about to, he just slapped me in the face, okay, so I'm also frail and vulnerable, so I'm going to struggle to get my defenses up, unfortunately, luckily he's buffing for the time being, I'm going to say luckily, it's not exactly great news, but you know what, it'll do, um, I do at least have, yeah, the opportunity now to clothesline him for 21 damage. So that's plus two to weakened. So that will make him a little bit less on the terrifying side. He's not attacking me right now. I've got no defense. So screw it. Go in for 10 damage off that. We are doing some good work, but vulnerable is only for another two rounds. You've done it now. And now he's, uh oh, plus six strength was that. Right. Okay, so, 30 times 2. That's, that's gonna kill me, especially as I've got literally no ability to block this turn. Okay, that's it, I'm dead. Okay. Um, what can I do? Oh, hang on. No, I'm not. I'm not dead because I can gamble drink. Okay, that's just 10 damage. I may as well anger because it's good, but what I've got to do right now is... I've just got to try and survive, and I'm not sure how I can do that. I mean, I've got this, and that's pretty damn good. That's 27 damage right there, and he's not vulnerable right now. Okay, basically, I have to, yeah, I've got no choice. I need to gamble, bro. So I need to discard all of these cards. Um, Yeah, I need to discard all of it, because right now I'm not going to live, because he's going to do 60 damage, and I'm dead. So, I'm going to discard my entire hand, and now we just basically bet on... Okay, Impervious, I think just... Do I survive? Hang on. No, I don't quite survive. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, that's not enough, because I've got 38, plus 22 is 60. He's literally about to do 60. I don't actually live. Oh, I come so close to living, but I don't live, unfortunately. So, that's, that's a shame. Um... Is there anything I can do to give myself more cards? No, I can change the order of the draw pile. I'm out of potions. I'm out of everything. Oh, no. I came so close. I came so flipping close. Get more angers ready to go. In case something happens, like he falls over and stabs himself in the foot. I mean, yeah, that's all I got. Three more damage off that. But that's not enough. I die now. Oh, no. That's so sad. Just one less hit point. I would have just survived that. But he would have probably killed me the next turn. 
Okay, I think I put up a decent fight. And at the bare minimum, I've now unlocked some more cards that are allowed to show up in future. Heavy Blade deal 14 damage. Strength affects this card three times. Spot Weakness if the enemy intends to attack. Gain three strength. And Limits Break, double your strength. Exhaust. Not bad. Decent cards right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Slay the Spire. Again, if you know this game, I apologise. That was probably terrible. But I'll say... Do kind of like this one. This is pretty damn good, all right? I could be tempted to have this come back as a live stream. Feels like it could make a good live stream. We'll see. We'll see about that. I'll keep it in mind. But, yes, the reason this actually showed up here today, this just came out on the Switch. So, yeah, I could definitely see this getting some use on my Switch. I'm going to leave it installed. Fun little thing. Might well be worth a look-see, even if you've played it before on PC. On Switch, where you've actually got it with you when you're on the move, might well be worth another look-see. I'll put a link in the description below to both the PC and the Switch version. But, yeah, I'll say I've had a nice time with this. It's a fun, if slightly stressful, little game. Maybe We'll see it again. I do not know. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Slay the Spire. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no. No, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh. I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.